friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode so that's right I'm here next to the ocean <laughs> so uh, I am doing some holidays in this lovely place here in Portugal so uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to find anything in here but the place has a lot of potential but I'm not really sure if I can find something because uh, over there the area is forbidden uh, so I cannot cross over there so I suppose I could cross it but, but there are some sort of signs over there saying that there are and stay with it. but I just want to show you guys this is a, surely a lovely lovely place for you to visit here in Portugal so I'm not sure where this path will lead so let me check this so well I am near the cliff so I'm not I'm not sure if I'm I'm going to over there it's kind of a dangerous but we have a lovely view out here so I will try to find some fossils in this place so let's get started yay well a lot of people pass through here uh, mainly tourists but I just wanted to show you these guys because I was passing over in here and check this out there's something round let's see what is in here and my bet is that this is a gastropod for sure let me see well I guess this is a gastropod it's surely it's a gastropod it's incarcerated in the mud but well this is cool but let's see if we can find more so let's get going hey <laughs> so <laughs> I was putting my camera in my pocket and then I look down and well this is starting to <laughs> promising so another gastropod this one is very tiny but this one you clearly see that this is a very very tiny one oh let this is too sunny in here I don't know if the camera is focusing all right because I really ah, now it is so uh, I cannot see to the display because it's too sunny in here and it's making this real hard to see uh, but on the other hand we can see some fossils so if there is one there is more oh let me investigate this path a little bit better and then I will go to the beach what is this pointy stuff well it's just a rock so I was starting to say that I didn't have any luck over here but check this out this rock so there are a few traces of a different species that I don't have yet but I will try to find of at least one complete oh there is more over here well a lot of broken pieces uh... so friends I found something a little bit strange it's not a fossil but it was in the middle of the road over here so my guess it's not it's not from the well I don't know if this is from the slope but check this out so I didn't record this uh, but now I am showing to you guys I guess it's a little bit of calcite uh, not sure not really sure I'm going to wash it a little bit and then we'll see what this is Yo friends I'm down at the beach as you can see lovely view and I am searching for fossils around here so far any luck no no fossils around but check out the erosion on this on these rocks <laughs> pretty cool patterns that are in here so I have to be careful because at any minute some some stuff could fall from up there so I have to keep some sort of a distance but I will try to search for fossils in here so let oh this one looks like melted magma uh, melted lava sorry uh, nice patterns in these rocks so let's get going
So friends, we have a nice sunset in here. So it's too windy. So I'm not going to over to that hedge because it's dangerous and it's uh, it's making a lot of of wind. So I'm not sure if you are going, guys, you are going to listen to me or not. But check this out. This is pretty. And we have a lot, a lot of us about bedrock, but I'm not going to go there because it's dangerous. You can see. We can see much more. So I guess this could be probably Archimedes. I read about this area in a book and there's a lot of Arch Oh, there's one over here. Check this out. So uh, not sure if this is an Archimedes or if this is a regular bivalve. Regular bivalve means that I don't know the name. <laughs> So friends, welcome back. So here we are once again, back at my place. The holidays are over and here we are. So uh, at least I managed to bring some, a few pieces from these holidays, not, uh, not as many fossils as I, I wish. So uh, first I, I need to apologize because the audio in the movie was very, very bad because it was always windy and the spots where I found the fossils were in the high spots and there's always a lot of wind there and it was terrible to do some sort of videos of fossil hunting uh well but i managed to to gather a few to put on the youtube but i i i, I just want to show you this because uh i thought that i could found a lot more fossils uh near the the sea but in this case was wrong because near the the beaches near the cliffs i didn't found any fossils well, just the normal bivalves and some crabs, but no fossils. But the only spots were in the high spots, in the top of the cliffs. And the fossils that I found were so eroded. So, uh, well, I have a better ones in my collection that were found uh, near my place. And my place is far from the sea. And the other ones that I found in the top of the cliffs are so eroded. Check this one in here. So this one, it's a little bit cracked. And it has this, uh, this, uh, I don't know what this is. This is, almost looks like solidified uh, salt. Uh, so this part over here, you can see the spirals, but, but it's, it, because, it was because this was buried. Because if it was exposed, well, the fossil may be not even be uh, recognizable. But I guess that is one of the problems over there, because it's always too windy. 
and and well there is uh, salinity in the water and the erosion does the rest so all the fossils that uh, are, that uh, are in there so they are so damaged because and we are not able to recognize them so this other one was found also there so clearly it's a gastropod i just only managed to find some little gastropods and almost irrecognizable ones this one is still in the matrix it's still in here and it was well you can clearly see in the video it was tipped like this and almost was this part was buried so this part is very round and you can clearly recognize this, this is the shape of a snail in here and well uh, a little bit of a turritella a little i guess this one over here i guess this is an archometilus but again uh, this is quite puzzling because well i would expect to find some more uh, recognizable fossils but i have this 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 i guess this is the same species that i have in here that was found much closer to my house and you can clearly see that it it has much much better definition than this one over here so the the erosion of the of the sea and the water so it's not good to find fossils so uh, there's an element of luck uh, involved in finding fossils uh, over there so i have to i have to confess i i didn't spend too much time uh, searching for fossils because i was on holidays but well uh, i was expecting to find a lot a lot more fossils so the other one that uh, really puzzles me it's this little fellow over here that I don't have in my collection. So I guess this is some sort of an oyster. Uh, so I, in the beginning I thought that this could be, well, some sort of a pectin related to these fellows over here. But it has this zigzag uh, pattern in here. So it it is more flat than the 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 pectin so i i clearly don't know what this is so i have to see online or in the books to see what this this is new so i don't have this one so this one is going to my collection i hope to find more um and uh at last so i found this piece uh i guess this is calcite i'm not an expert in minerals but um well this is a large piece of calcite I guess this is not from over there so I guess this was something that was bring when they tried to repair the the road that uh, that leads to the beach so um, I was I was uh, um, trying to film this and I didn't uh, notice because it was too sunny and I didn't focus properly because I didn't see the display and well it was a good a good uh, week of holidays but to find fossils <laughs> was not so good but either way so i have a little fellow over here for my collection and i hope to find uh, to find to continue to do some uh, fossil hunting uh, videos so uh, if you enjoy don't forget to put a like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next movie bye friends